Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Custom Level Chaos, and today we're on Tiny Giant World, and we're gonna go to World 1, even though it is completely optional to do so. What a weird start, just dropped off by the waterfall. That's a nice, actually kind of a nice little topographical segue from Waterland. It's like we just got through in Waterland, we're leaving the water behind, we were dropped off by a waterfall at this new area. What a, what a nice little... I wish there was, like, at least one bonus room somewhere in this entire world. Ah, yes. Didn't want to get too hasty. Oh, what? Hello to you. Two, two piranha plants in one pipe cohabitating. Piranha Plant Society has gotten quite progressive, if I do say so myself. Oh, that thing turned into four nippers. That's just four nippers wearing a trench coat. Yes, please. Daddy hungry. Give it here. Yeah, okay. Actually, I might want to take this with me. This might provide some... Oh, I actually have to get P-Speed going for this. That's interesting. Wow, okay. that's That was semi-interesting. Nice little green oil drum you got there. Woo! I wasn't sure I was going to make that. After getting have to having to get P-Speed for the one drop, that was... That was not... Uh, somehow I was not expecting to have to do it again on the next consecutive jump. How'd you fit in there, buddy? Okay, let's... What is... Okay, those are just weird piranha plant. Some kind of weird scrolling going on off the side of the screen there. This is a nice little menagerie you've got going here. Oh, hey, hello. <laughs> well, for the... for the That's that's our reward for playing a completely optional level. Getting three one-ups at the end of a... Only moderately, maybe two out of 10 on the scale of difficulty level, but maybe we'll get two more one-ups here. Looking, looking likely. Looking very unlikely at this point. We got Mushroom Cat Flower Head. Go away, Mushroom Crap Flower Head. <laughs> mushroom Cap, not Crap Cap. Uh, anyway, you're a genetic freak and nobody likes you. So let's, ooh, I like the color of the ground here. That's, okay, so maybe we'll get the, maybe we'll get the little gimmick here of the giant doors. Uh, that is a low cloud in the sky. I feel like I'm... Oh, I like the I like the blue little ledges. I always thought of these ledges as having little anchors on them. They look like little L.L. Bean J. Crew platforms. Oh, boy. Little peek into the mind of... Uh, the mind of, like, eight or nine-year-old Jess. Like, what's supposed to be going on with this platform? I, I know it's supposed to represent grass. Please don't tell me it's just grass. It's like, let me have my little Land's End fantasy, okay? That's all I ask. I'm a humble man. I don't ask for much. But let me have this kind of silly idea. Nothing nothing doing. Pipes are not meant for going in in this game. This is a, this is a get from A to B kind of game. And all of a sudden we've got World 1-1 back in action. Wait a minute. Can I... Are these reskinned? Can I just do this? Ah, sure enough I can. How about that? Maybe we can, uh, if the, oh, hey, the end of the level is nearby. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Do I get, I get literally nothing special for this. Okay, well, all right, where am I? I need to, I need to appear, please. Let's, let's go ahead and appear. Okay, there we go. I'm surely, yeah, I was going to say, surely I can get in front of it by now. Uh, but my name's not Shirley, and this isn't Super Shirley Brothers. Um, hmm. Yeah, I could always do with more power-ups. It's a it's a light distraction. But uh, what was up here? This was a mushroom, right? Let's try here. A flower. Let's try right here. Hey, that was a complete guess. I think the star is down here in the corner. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ten coins. That's right here, and we've cleared the table. Oh man. Power up a Palooza. How many pages we got going now? One and a half. That's a that's pretty safe to me. Boy, we can do two toad houses in a row. What a weird arrangement. This this also seems like a hack that is weirdly designed for speed running. Like there's a lot of optional levels. In fact, I think you only have to play three levels in this entire world, like out of a possible five. But you know what? You know me. I'm a hundred percenter. I'm committed. Two Tanuki suits. That's how committed I am. I am doubling up on the Raccoon Couture. And we are doing this... Okay, that was much easier than the two Sledge Brother thing. That was... That was certainly something. And a P-Wing. Wow. We're not falling. We're flying with style. Let's go up to World 3 and see what it has to offer. 
Haven't seen a neon level yet. Is this going to be the first world without one of those? You know, this is, uh... Okay, I can get up here, but we've seen... We haven't seen much in the way of levels that scroll upward. Hey, uh... Hey, I was wondering if that was actually going to hit. Are we going to get to go to Coin Heaven at any point today? This is... Seems arranged in a such-like fashion. Okay, yeah, but not really. What about anything down here? Anything down the way at all? Anything special about going here? Nope, nothing whatsoever. Well, it's it reminds you of something that you used to know and love, but it's absolutely not rewarding in the same way at all. That's that's how you do that's how you do ROM hacks. Remind people of the things they loved, and then completely deny them uh, the coolest parts of those things. That sounds like that sounds like a road to ROM hack success. Did he just jump off into the nothing? He sure did. Bye bye. Well, see you later. Uh, I'd say it was nice knowing you, but uh, we hardly knew ye. Uh, I feel like I should get this. Let's see what happens. I, I don't want to respawn the... Oh no. Oh no, they are they are well and truly dead. How about that? Anything, anything at all. You know what, I bet the P-Switch was back here. I bet I got rid of all my coin opportunities. Have I even really seen a P-Switch? Yeah, there have been a few, but they haven't been like really vital to my success or anything. I haven't had to beat the rush on a... On a... Okay, here. Come here, come here. Come pop out. Bye-bye. Hey, a 1-Up. Right in plain sight. 1-Ups are pretty easy to come by. I'm already most of the way to 100. Okay, let's see if I can't get another weird... Weird jackpot. Weird jackpot is not mine today. Darn. Shucks. Shenanigans, I say. Aw, oh, man. I'm depressed now. I didn't get two whole 1-Ups. I only got one one up. That's not okay. Hey, oh, there's the neon level I was talking about though. I was I was so caught up in my own feelings that I did not see the dark level right off the bat. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, just every every world has its own kind of dark land stage. It's well, let's Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can't use my tail underwater. I'm probably spoiled by uh, Mario X that way. Oh, hey, that's interesting, but I'm going to need to swim past that very quickly. Uh-oh. Well, this is... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's a problem. Come on. Come on. Quit quit nosing up on the edge there and just let me have it. Come on. Good. Good. We can move on now. Always scares me a little bit when the camera starts getting wide out. I thought I saw something over that way. Yeah, there we go. That's a that's a short giant pipe for sure. All right, but it looks like we're almost through with Giant Land, and uh, not a lot in the way of uh, interesting level design going on here. Like, remember remember all the cool landmarks, like the directional elevator things, and the and then like there was <laughs> some other stuff. Okay, maybe there weren't that many interesting things in World Four. Uh, I'm mostly remembering that one fortress. Hey, Larry, you showed up. Oh, Larry's a hopping and a bopping. Larry's got the fancy footwork, but guess what? They don't call me the jump man for nothing. Get out of here, Larry. You have been dispatched. So it's kind of a, the order of bosses is kind of a mix between Mario World Order and Mario 3 Order. Well, no, Roy was second, so I don't know what's up with that. Not sure if Roy has ever come second in a game. Probably. Probably one of the new Super Mario Brothers games that I haven't played. But would love to sometime. Wink. Alright. Well, that looks like... That looks like that should be the Desert King with the turban and all. But I think that is the Giant Land King. Anyway. Giant Land is behind us. And we have yet another P-Wing. The thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the Sand Dunes. The Sand Dunes, not available on this tour. We only sprung for the cheap package. But here we are, World 5 already in the sky, and there's a mushroom house right there to treat us and everything. Talk about living in the lap of luxury.